so the next component that we'll be looking at will be the autocomplete so what is an autocomplete so autocomplete are the drop down which works on this search feature so what does that mean so as the name suggests autocomplete so they are just the drop downs as the select component as we have learned in the forms so they just contain a select box list and they have the search feature which just completes the list item that we have typed so they are just the auto completion of the list and then they have the options and the text field which needs to be provided to handle this search operation and we provide the options which are just the array of the list which are the list items that we search with the auto completion and we need to provide here the text fields also and it automatically handles the state and the search operation with the auto complete so now we can see the properties of the auto completion now we have the options and then we have the render input so for the options we need to provide an array of the options in the list and then we need to provide the render input and in the render input we need to provide the text field component which will handle the search operations automatically from that and then we can just have some more additional properties like the sx for the stylings as well so now we are into the material ui website and now you can see the autocomplete is just a normal text input which is enhanced by a panel of suggested options and now you can see this is a combo box which is done with the autocomplete now you can see we have done the autocomplete then we are providing the list of options as the top 100 films and this is the movie search option so we can just search for any movie like we have some movie search options like if i will now search for the three idiots from there the three idiots and now you can see the movie search is completing and now you can see we can just select the movies from here as well so this is how we can do the auto complete inside the material ui and then you can see we can use an interface also for the options if you are using the typescript and then you can just have a type as the auto completion equals to the string and then you can see you can have options as the array of the objects like you can have a label and you can have some ids onto the objects as well or if you want to just test it then you can just have options as the array of the list item so now you can see these are the autocompletes and these are just more features on the autocompletes as well as the dialogues as the solos and more so these are about the autocompletes and now we can just move on to the visual studio code to test the auto completion in our code so now we have the box and inside this box now we will have the autocomplete so now we have the autocomplete inside that and now this will be the only tag which we need to perform and after that we need to provide the options so what other options can we provide so we can just move on and then we can just search for the list of states in india i can do a list of states in india so we can just have that array and now you can see we have the array of the list so we can just get that so now you can see we have the github code so we can just copy that let state equals to till the end and then we can just add here the list as here so now we have the list as the state we can just have the const as the state we have the state array inside that and now after that now we can just have here the options as the state so now we have the state array as the options and after providing here the state so now all of the state option will be then there in the auto completion and after that we can provide some id but this is optional if you want to provide then you can provide and then you can have a sx prop to provide here the width so we can just have a width here as well width can be equal to the 300 so now we have defined the width as well and now we need to define the text field as well for the render input as we have learned inside the ppt as the render input so we can just have here the render input and in the render input we will have the params as the callback parameter which will handle all of the params inside that and after the params and then we can just have here the callback function and inside that now we need to provide here the text field so to handle the search operation we need to handle the text field and inside the text field now we need to provide all of the options that are available inside the params so for that we can just have all of the props that are available inside the params and then we can just have a label as well inside the text field as well so the label can contain a list of states so if i will now save if i will now just move on to the application once again so we can just minimize that and now you can see now we have three options with the sx we have the options equals to the state and then we have the render input so if i will now just move on to the application we need to move on to the local of 3000 now you can see now we have the list of states so if i will now just open this now you can see now we have the list of states as the andhra pradesh and rachel pradesh and all of the lists so if you will just search that like if i will now search delhi now you can see we can just search the delhi option here as well so now the auto completion is also working and now we have learnt about the auto completion so this is all about the auto complete in the material ui